Apple's got a VR headset, it's true. It's called Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro though is not coming out until 2024, but it was showing off here at Apple's developer conference as expected. And yeah, it was a whole presentation. So here are my reactions so far. First of all, it's really expensive. This is $3,500. That is the price of a Microsoft HoloLens 2, Magic Leap, those types of high-end AR headsets or industrial type VR headsets like the Vario XR3, which you probably haven't heard of. In terms of the everyday VR headset territory, nothing comes close to that. Although some things do get to the $1,000, $1,500 price range, things like the MetaQuest Pro. That seems really cheap now compared to Vision Pro. Apple is promising a really immersive display here. This is 4K micro OLED with a very high pixel density. How good does it look? Well, they're promising this will replace your, your TV, your monitor. Of course, a lot of VR and AR companies promise that. I'd be really curious to see how well that looks to us. Also, it's supposed to work as a work device. Again, casting monitors from your connected devices, especially a Mac, which is the sort of thing that we've seen with other VR headsets, but maybe works more automatically with Macs. There's also some support for the keyboard and the trackpad devices that Apple has, which would help because the main interface is all hand gestures, eye tracking, and voice. Now, the Microsoft HoloLens, an AR headset, went all hand tracking and eye tracking, but we haven't seen any device really fully move to that, although Meta's Quest devices do have hand tracking. It's just not considered as accurate enough to fully replace controllers. How do you feel you know, about the feedback when that happens? There's no haptics. Will it feel really amazing? Will you long for the controller? I don't know, but Apple's really betting hard on that and claiming that that's going to be the new interface language here. A lot of the other stuff looks like it's leaning on iOS. A lot of the same apps are gonna run on this, but with the ability to run specialized mixed reality apps that could be multitasked. You could put these side by side, that's interesting. And the design looks like a super duper Quest Pro. You know, this is something that definitely looks like a big VR headset. Um, it's got a very sleek Ready Player One type look at first glance. It's got a you know, ribbed stretchy band on the back. It has an external battery though that dangles down to the side. So it's not contained in here. There's spatial audio that's off the headpiece here. Um, that's similar to the Quest. Two really interesting things here. One, it has a display on the outside, a curved OLED that will show your eyes. Creepy or useful? We don't know. I mean, it's, it's trippy, and it will show where your eyes are and whether you're in an app. So if people come close to you, they'll actually kind of fuzz into view, and the, and the mixed reality, which is controlled with the digital crown, will allow the real world to pass through and show that person. And Apple's claiming that the mixed reality capabilities, which blend the real world with cameras, are so good that you'll be able to use this to really see the outside world and, and portray items into it, which is something that Meta is doing with the Quest Pro and other companies are exploring. This is an ongoing trend in VR to have those pass-through cameras. Apple also has LiDAR sensors on this for depth scanning. The extra trick though is this is also a 3D camera. Apple is claiming that you'll be able to capture realistic moments, photos and videos that will look really great afterwards when you play them back, but you're gonna have to wear that headset to capture the moment. So I don't know how that's gonna work at a birthday party. The other thing is that that scanning is also what is able to capture an avatar. Meta's talked about creating realistic avatars. They've shown some demos to me at their labs. There is an avatar capture feature here that will capture your realistic looking face. Again, how will that play out in FaceTime? We don't know. And there's a lot of time before this launches. While Disney's Bob Iger appeared to talk about its capabilities with Disney Plus, and there's promises of games on this, it's gonna take a long time to get app developers on board, especially since this has a new interface language. But it shows that Apple's really serious about this. How serious? Well, we're gonna have to see when this headset launches later. And when I eventually get to try it, I'll have thoughts about that as well. But the Vision Pro, not the Reality Pro, is another big bet on this AR VR future that Google and Samsung are also planning to get into. That's the news from Apple in AR VR land, and talk to you soon. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.